and welcome to New Hope Ice Arena for Northwest Suburban Conference Boys Hockey tonight. It's the Elk River Elks paying a visit here to Armstrong Cooper, taking on the wings. Hi, I'm Jay Wilcox along with Dan Ficken as we wind down the 2022 portion of the schedule here. And should be an interesting one here tonight, Dan. The wings are off to a very good start at 6-2. and two. Maybe haven't played the toughest part of their schedule overall, but still have to like a lot of what they're doing. Elk River at 4-3, and three, although they've gotten a couple losses to a couple of the really good teams in the late conference. And so they're a younger group, but trying to get themselves on the right track here tonight as well. Well, they've Elk River's run through some good competition. That that means a lot. Early in the season, it doesn't matter. You worked at the end of the season, they're young, they're learning, they're fast, and they're going to get better. Armstrong Cooper, on the other hand, good record, 6-2 and two against competition. Uh, the tough part of their schedule is coming up. This might be the first game where they're going to see it, an even team with them. Yeah, Oak River took it on the chin a little bit against E9 and Eden Prairie, but they were happy the way they bounced back and beat a, a Grand Rapids team in the, a tournament a couple weeks back. And Coach Ben Gustafson saying that one really told me a lot about our team, that they didn't pack it in and hang it up after getting beat by a couple good teams. And they, they play with... Uh, you know, some emotions. They keep their legs moving, and they didn't give up on that, and that's good. They learned something from the two losses, Jay, and that makes a big difference. Wings looking for consistency. Dan Charleston was saying we're, we're a team that kind of goes on emotion a little bit. If we get a good start, we're generally pretty good. Well, that's it. And, of course, if you get the first goal, yeah, you get some good momentum going, but they need that. This group can, can really get going, get the legs moving, and all of a sudden something goes bad and they stop moving. They kind of pull back. Can't do that. Not in this league. you got to play full tilt all the time, all the way through the game. So we'll see if they can muster that tonight. Let's take a look at key players to watch for in tonight's contest, starting with the visiting Elks. And Carter Davis, really a defenseman by trade, but they're going to be using him up front here this evening after he moved there in the Grand Rapids game. Well, one thing about defense, you move him up to wing, they do pretty good to move up to forward. Forward coming back to deep doesn't work so well, so he's still learning, but he's coming on. He's gotten some goals. He's generated some offense for him. And it'll be interesting to see how he continues his learning in that position. Spent his fall playing in the USHL, but wanted to, to play his high school hockey still in Elk River and came back to join the Elks. And, and for Armstrong Cooper, Jamison Essen is a guy who's had a good junior season so far, already in double figures and goals. Yeah, 11 goals, man. He's carrying this team. He's doing a heck of a job. If I'm a coach, I look at that and I go, that's the guy i got to stop. Can they? That's the question. We'll see how he steps up to these challenges in the next tonight and the next few weeks. Elk River with a more experienced team beat the Wings 10 to 3 last season and historically have, have had the upper hand in this rivalry, but I'm sure these Armstrong Cooper guys are saying, all right, this is our year that we can turn the tables on them. I all this time I would have had that score up in the, in the locker room right now just to remind him you got smoked by these guys let's show them where we're at this year so I'm expecting you know Armstrong Cooper to come out here and fly they're going to have first three shifts are going to tell a lot with them all right should be a good one here tonight as we get set to wrap up the 2022 portion of the se season as I said here it's the Elks and the Wings and it comes your way next here on CCX Sports CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is now available on Roku and Apple TV. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including daily newscasts and full sporting events. To find the app, go to the store and search CCX and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. Now available on Roku and Apple TV. Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. 
But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button, and from there, choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. Welcome back here to New Hope Arena as we get set for puck drop here tonight between Elk River and Armstrong Cooper here in the late December matchup. Wings looking for their seventh win. There's Henry Dimmich, the Armstrong Cooper goalie. He's actually played every minute of every game so far for the Wings. The diminutive, as you could say, too. He's one of the smaller goaltenders that, that we've seen this year in the state, but he's got good numbers. Like to see that save percentage go down a little bit. Sam Stockman in net at the other end, the junior for Elk River. His numbers haven't been real good, but he's generally thought of as a pretty good goalie. They're, they feel like they're stronger in the back end than they are up front, but we'll see how things play out here this evening as the wings carry it up the left side. Pass flipped over toward Max Burns, but taken away in a quick counter. Both coaches were kind of eager to see what they'd look like against each other here too. It's been obviously the schedule disrupted. Uh, in part because of the holiday, but also in part because of some uh, weather yeah. cancellation or postponements last week. Both teams lost a game. One was scheduled to play Wednesday. One was scheduled to play Thursday. That those games were wiped out, and then school was out too. So uh, maybe a little rust early on here. Let's put it that way. High rising shot by Cooper Anderson goes over the net. Now a centering pass picked off by Max Burns, and he'll float it down as they want to change. Put it right in on Stockman and Cooper Anderson throwing it ahead. Elks trying to get it into the zone now. Preston Holmes, it trickles away from him. Coach Gustafson from Elk River admitting our team, you know, doesn't have that high-end firepower, at least to start the year. So we're going to have to try to win a lot of close games. Backhand try goes wide, and then it's off the outside of the net as uh, Lewis McKozak, the sophomore, led that rush for the wings. Comes loose in the high slot here. Tanner Rausch was trying to find an angle for a shot. Now this one tipped and it went out of play. It bounces back in, but it was off the netting. So we'll get a draw there as a look at Sam Stockman and numbers that he has compiled so far this year as a split time with Gavin Krennic. And see the high goals against, but yeah. uh, a, a quality goalie, returning goalie, played well for them down the stretch last year. They actually were in their section final in 8AA but lost to Moorhead. Well, they just haven't had trouble scoring goals, Jay. They got to start putting the puck in the net. They only average less than three goals a game. And yeah, coach was saying they, they had 12 seniors playing on that team last year. And so some of the guys, even, even when they're seniors, haven't really had much varsity minutes. So it yeah. can be deceiving a little bit that, um, you know, they're even less experienced than it looks when you look at grades for their team. Tip back into the Elk River zone. Kellen Anderson back to pick it up, one of their better defensemen. And this one picked up at the wings blue line. Then that pass going to be too long as they tried to spring Logan Gotti there. So there's a look at Danny Charleston, the wings head coach. And he's, you know, he likes what he's seen for the most part from his team. But he said, you know, we, we know the schedule gets quite tough in, in January. And, uh, you know, we've had some good wins. But. We also know that there's going to be some tough competition ahead. Oh, yeah. Said it's an emotional team. It can get riding on the high momentum and get up on their toes, but they can run into a roadblock and just emotionally get down and stop skating. And he's hoping they'll be very consistent tonight with keep, keeping on their toes. We also said we don't play again until, uh, I believe it's the 5th of January. He said, so no reason not to spend all of our energy <laughs> trying to win this one here tonight. Oh, You've yeah. got to burn off some energy, if anything. Back around as the Elks reverse it here for Easton Johnson. And then that pass goes through everyone. Cooper Anderson picking it up, floating it to center. Took a bad bounce there off the boards. And that pass a little too far ahead. Kellen Anderson grabbing it for the Elks. And Wings have to regroup at center here as uh, Aiden Cook brought it back out. Now he gets a return pass off his skate. Cook blocked that dumping attempt. Now he will come up with it here. 
Hook shot though was denied by Kellen Anderson. We're seeing a little bit of a holiday bulge here too. You gotta wanna run off some of that Christmas dinner that they've had. You know, I see this, it's gonna take about a period to get going though. Yeah, it's crazy how, you know, you just for somebody in the general public, you think, well, a couple days not on skates, no big deal, but it, it feels like uh, forever when you're used to being out there five, six days a week. Here's yeah. a backhand try going to the net by Cooper Anderson, and a long rebound comes out. Wings counterattack, but then they give it away. Preston Holmes had it chopped away into the Wings bench. We'll get a face off here right near the blue line as there's a look at Ben Gustafson. The Elks coach was a, an assistant a long time before that, an Elk River grad as well, and he was also an assistant on their state championship football team this fall. Oh. Well, they're trying to get those legs going. They're, they're trying some burst passes and trying to move the puck up as quickly as possible, get a quick counterattack. I like that strategy. That's a good way to get things going right off the bat after a vacation. He was saying an alumni game was really the only thing they had after the, the weather. Uh, of course, when, when they call school off, you're not allowed to practice either. Yep. Both teams face that. And then, as I said, they each lost a game middle of last week as well. Blake Reinhardt back to pick it up. Got it over to Cole Mears and swinging it across now. Braden Hansberger popping up in the air. Neither team really getting anything set up offensively. It's just been kind of back and forth end to end a little bit here, and that'll be an icing call against Armstrong Cooper. 12.39 to go in the first, no score, and each team up on the big board, one shot on goal. Like I said, this first period's gonna be one they're just getting their legs back together, and they expect better movement, better puck movement. Second and third periods here, but to see if somebody can punch in the first goal. The first goal's gonna be a big one in this game. And it's interesting too, Dan, I think you kind of acknowledge that things might be a little slow, but you also want to make sure you're not making a big mistake. I mean, <laughs> if you can just play steady hockey at least yeah. to get yourself going through these first uh, handful of shifts, I mean, yeah, you'd love to come out and pop a couple in, but you also want to, uh, on the other end, not give up anything by being sloppy or, or rusty too. Nice check thrown there by Anderson. Boy, we've said his name a lot already. Cooper yeah. Anderson, number seven for the Elks. I think he's missed one shift this period. That's it. He's been out there a lot. That pass fails to connect as they went for Easton Johnson. Elks completing a quick change here. And thrown in by Logan Gotti for Armstrong Cooper. Check freeze that one out. Oh, Centering pass, shot and a goal. Wings are on the board first as the turnover costs Elk River a little physical play and uh, Charlie Gergen will be the beneficiary as he's able to pop that one over Stockman's shoulder and in and Armstrong Cooper will take a one nothing lead. Boy that was a big mistake all the way around. Nobody was in front to guard the net except Gorgon and they turned it over there behind the net. You'll see the mistake here comes around. He just loses track of the puck and gets checked. And they come back and look at it all yeah. by himself. There's Gergen taking that pass from Roush and pumping it in. So Charlie Gergen will get his fifth goal of the year. And a one nothing lead here for Armstrong Cooper. I don't know. Just about to say, it'd be nice if they give an assist on that check there as well, and they did. Lewis McKozak. Oh, and that oh. one's off the pipe, and then laying loose, they nearly went back to back. So Gergen the goal from Roush and Lewis McKozak. McKozak really made that play with that yeah, check, and sometimes you don't get an assist for that, and but, uh, he did in that play. So one nothing lead Armstrong Cooper, and they just about made it two nothing. Bank pass ahead too far there, intercepted by Kellen Anderson. He'll slide it across here to Cooper Anderson. Ah! 
physical play, picking up just a little bit. Max yep. Burns throwing a check there for the wings. Now a chance the other way. Oh, and it just squirts away. Holmes catches up with it. Dimmich, though, out to shut him down from a tough angle. And a follow-up try and a stick save on the Cooper Anderson attempt. Anderson stopping this one at center, sliding it across to Kellen Anderson. And back to Cooper Anderson. Trying to drag that one through, but didn't quite make it. They don't quite get it out, though, and then tipped. Cole Mears after it here for the Elks. He'll come back to Cooper Anderson. Trying to get it down low, but that pass intercepted. Left there for Dawson Franke. And now the rush up ice. Essen, though, fanned on his pass. It'll go again, though. Well, you can see it's a little bit ragged. We got another icing and stuff, but yeah, they're just trying to get their get their legs back underneath them, and sticks are a little being held a little tight right now. That was a nice goal with that uh, the wings head, though, Jay. First guy in took the body, second guy in got the puck, third guy came down the slot. That's the way you set it up. Yeah, and there was no need to stop and think about any of it. They just kind of nope. did it, bang, bang, bang. Yep. Floated high off the glass and out. Stockman's going to watch it go. It'll be another icing call against the wings. That one was a little different than the others. They were trying to, to uh, spring somebody in deep there. As they look to uh, spring Frankie on us there. But. Wings able to win the draw here around to Dawson Franke, the sophomore. He is checked down there by Jace Bouton. Austin St. Clair carrying for the Elks. They try and answer that Wings goal. Nice move to the net there. Dimmich though making a stop on Bouton. Elks putting on a little bit of pressure on that ship, but then it fails to connect, and again, the wings. I think eventually, icing the puck this many times might come back to bite you. Yeah, they got to keep winning faceoffs in their own end. Yeah, but uh, Armstrong Cooper, they were averaging over five and a half goals a game, so they could put the puck in the net, whereas the Elks, you know, not quite three goals a game. We'll see how that works out. We don't know all the competition they've played so far, you know, with the exception maybe a diner. Wings trying to get it started up ice here. And that one broken up, dumped right back in as Cooper Anderson pushing forward there. Now picked up by Matt Reiner. He got a a captain named Reinhardt and then a captain named Reinhardt. <laughs> Different spellings entirely, but very close. Gets by Dimacher as he came out to try and cut that one down. Back out to center and floated over to an open wing. Here's McKozak back to pick it up here for Armstrong Cooper. He can scoot a little bit. Down he goes, though. And that's going to be a penalty against the Elks. That'll be a trip, I would think. Yes, indeed. I'll be interested to see this one again because I wasn't entirely sure that the stick made contact with his feet. He went down, obviously, but and I, let's see. Oh no, he just lost an edge. That's what I thought, and that's what Matt Reiner, his look at the official said. I can see why they thought it was a trip, but I was thinking with the naked eye, I didn't think it was, and then we've seen that again. I think uh, probably uh, Wings got a break there. But we don't have instant replay here. Right. So we'll see what AC can do with the man advantage here. Well, they've only been running the power play at about 17%, but they got a good setup right there. Shot fired just wide of the mark on the attempt by Tanner Rausch. Give it back to Gergen in the circle. He'll get a return pass here. Now trying to float it down low. Rausch. Or, or make that um, Lewis McCozak out of Roush. 
And tip three out to center. Is a good stick there by Gavin Sperling, the sophomore. Or make that, uh, yeah, Sperling chasing it down. Rausch back to pick it up here for Armstrong Cooper. They lead 1-0. They have the first power play of the night. This one picked off. Hansberger is all alone, though, and it's going to be a penalty coming up against Armstrong Cooper. So they had a three-on-one advantage there, but they end up holding Hansberger, who does good work on the PK and is able to draw a penalty, which will even us up. And going to the box for Armstrong Cooper will be Cole McKozak. That was kind of a tough one to take there, but he didn't really have too much of a choice. He had the puck stolen from him. They were getting opportunity to get a shot. And he did the right thing, so I don't think it was that bad a penalty for him. So four skaters aside, and then they also have about a minute of power play. If we, uh, barring any scoring. Uh oh, near giveaway there out front. As Dean Yeager was ready to pounce. Elks now get a rush going as Hansberger carrying fires. That shot was blocked though. Good stick by Gotti. Wings able to come up with it here. And play goes on as now Holmes up with it. Backhander there. Dimmich fights it off. And that one went out of play into the netting. So another draw coming up here. 19 seconds remaining in the Elk River penalty to Reinert. And then Elk River will have a mini power play. Well, so far it's been pretty choppy and a little sloppy here, but uh, the Wings have stepped up and, and taken a one goal lead on just a beautiful play. Elks win the draw, but fail to connect with the defenseman, so they'll have to regroup here as Cooper Anderson sliding it. Uh oh, oh nice takeaway pick. there by Roush. And there's Stockman having to make a stop with the pad there. And we've got another penalty coming up. They went to the corner. It's going to go against Elk River here, I believe. And let's see what our call. I think this will be a little bit of a conference. Might this be a major? I didn't see it cleanly, but it, it did look like a hit from behind. Yeah, that's that's definitely the discussion right yeah. now between these two. Might we have a minor or a major penalty here? It's just going to be a rough, it looks yeah. like. So they send uh, mirrors off. Looks like a good call. So just when it looked like Elk River was going to get a power play, now they're two men short, but only for one second. Then we'll be four on four. Off the draw, Elk's able to clear it, but this would be an ice, maybe? No, they're going to say happened prior to the uh, next player joining the fray there. Back out to center it comes, and Logan Bitson up with it. Or check that out, Blake Reinhardt, 27, not 21. Wings trying to get things going a little bit here as the pass comes across to Sam Burns. Looking to float one in. It was knocked down, and this will be offside, and they'll have to regroup here. one nothing Armstrong Cooper remains our score on a goal from Charlie Gergen. Well, the Wings are going to get a power play here with about a little less than a minute left on the penalty, so they'll get a chance to see what they can do here. And another offside here is it's been that kind of a night a little bit here, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. You kind of got to expect this a little bit during you know, you know, the break. Plus the storm didn't help, no practicing. And to be honest with you, the extreme cold probably might have, I don't know, I don't want to say speak for these kids, but sometimes you maybe get a little bit of outdoor time in just 
getting a feel of it, but when it was as cold as it was, that might have been less of an option, too. Oh, definitely. Going to get another penalty call coming up here. This one will be a trip as we've had a string of penalties. This one going against AC. And they'll send Aiden Cook off. Get a look at it right down in the corner as it gets into the skates. Yeah. Yep. Good call. That was fairly obvious. So it was funny when you were saying, now the Wings will have a power play coming up here. I was saying, well, it, that's what Oak River thought they were going to have for a bit, too, until they took another penalty, and now we see the same there. They get a key face-off win, though, so they can at least eat up the rest of the time of that first penalty. First penalty for AC is over, so now we're four on four here. Ellen Anderson leading the rush here for Elk River and the pass up front behind Sperling and then the net the came, came off. Up. And it's going to be outside the zone as they rule that Sperling's momentum carried him in. Elk River Zimmerman, I should uh, point out that they are a co-op as well, but most of their messaging, their uniforms and the, the roster we got just says Elk River, so go with that. Matt Reinert will draw against Lewis McKozak here outside the Armstrong Cooper blue line. A little under five to play in this first period. A one nothing lead for the home team, the Wings. Last win for them was on Val uh, against Elk River was on Valentine's Day 2019. So in general, you'd say that the Elks have had the better of this uh, rivalry, but. Well, it's current streak too. The uh, Wings are Five and one right now in their last six. Elk River is two and two in their last four. Reinert's pass. And eventually he'll track it down again here. Holmes up the middle, firing and Dimmich Ooh. with a glove catch on that one. Came out to cut down the angle and one of, the, one of the decent chances, Elk River, they really haven't had much offense. No. That one was a, a legit chance, though. Well, Dimmich got himself off balance a little bit as he came out. He, he was starting to go down. He went down a little too early. So he had to reach for that puck. Off the draw, a quick shot there. Dimmich making the stop on the attempt from Hansberger. Elk River now to full strength, so they'll have a power play for a little under a minute. That shot whistling high and wide. Hensberger fanned on it. And the pass back to the point was off target for Reinhardt. And just looking a little out of sync there, and that's dumped down the ring. Stockman leaving it there for Carter Davis. Here comes Davis leading the rush. Man to split through everyone, and that did not work. Reinhardt coming back now for Elk River. Only 10 to go in the power play here. Chop loose, but a follow-up attempt. Now Davis couldn't get to it, and then there's a hammer from the point by Blake Reinhardt. And Dimmich able to swallow that one up with three seconds to go in the Armstrong Cooper penalty. We have had quite some time since we've had five on five yeah. hockey here. Uh, it hasn't really been all that physical a game, but just a little sloppiness on the and you know ill-timed Ill stick work or whatever. Yeah, you can see too, like four players are trying to get onto their forehand rather than just taking on the backhand and throwing it toward the net. Penalty is over, so we're back to five aside. We'll see how long we stay that way. Max Burns pushed it to the corner. Whoa! And he threw a check, but. Uh, they say clean it was as uh, Cooper Anderson smashed into the boards there. And then he takes another hit. Comes loose oh, off front, shot on a yes. goal. Perfect setup. Dropped over there to Dean Yeager from Essen. And it's 2 nothing Wings. Well, the Wings are showing, Jay, they can score goals. I mean, they're averaging five a game, but it's just a beautiful setup there. And just a quick snapshot that beat uh, Stockman uh, for the for the Elks here but boy two pretty plays here look at that right underneath the, the defenseman 
And he just stepped up and nailed it. Jaeger will get his sixth of the year. Essen certainly will get an assist. We'll see if there's a second. So yeah. two nothing wings. It isn't like they've been putting a flurry of activity on, but they've really capitalized when they yeah. have gotten good chances. Well, I'm looking at I'm looking at the goals per game, and I'm going, you know, when they get the opportunity, they capitalize on it. They're really and that's showing. Right now. Gotti and Max Burns will get the assist. I thought it was Essen who sent it that one, but perhaps not. Two nothing lead here now for the Wings. Uh oh, forgot the puck there. <laughs> Dimmich able to help out and knock it away from Hansberger. And he was making Doug on sure it got out from in front of him. Chop loose again there by. Mears as the wings all of a sudden got a little careless in front of their own net a couple times. Jaeger picking it up, slides it out front. Here's Essen. Oh, oh and Stockman this time wins the battle. I thought it was going to be three of the similar type goals, but that time Stockman able to get it done. He anticipated that wing coming on the slot. He knew he was coming right away. See, he didn't even move. He stayed centered on the net. Then when the puck came, he just had to move just a little bit. Nice save. Nice setup, boy. The wings are setting up nice, I'll tell you. That might be one to remember because, I, I, well, you have the feeling if that one goes in that, Oof. I mean, you don't say it's over this early, but you, for a team that doesn't score much, you don't want to fall behind by three goals. So no. Stockman making a good save there. For a team that they say is built on D, they've had a few lapses that have hurt them early on here. Elks trying to get a little counter going as Mears carries it. His shot denied there. Nice block by Dayton Franke. Trying to kick it out to center, and now they finally do. Rausch's pass didn't quite make it there. Hansberger picking it up, and Elk River will try and regroup. Got a minute to go in the first. It's been a good one for the Wings. Well, good in terms of getting, you know, finishing chances. They, I don't think they've been their smoothest overall, but Roush dropping it way back across. That time the D got back to deny the pass as a uh, good look to Gergen. Kick loose. Shot attempt there. Sails high from Davis. Played back into the Elk River zone here. Preston Holmes back to pick it up for the Elks. And lost that one out to center. They're able to keep this one in. Dropped it down to Reiner. Putting it out front. An opportunity. Dimmage diving. Couldn't get it. But Bouton unable to put that one away from in close. Under five seconds to go now, and that's going to do it for our first period as the Wings popping a couple in here in this first period and lead it by a score of two to nothing. So that's our score through 17 here at New Hope Arena. Armstrong Cooper two and Elk River nothing. We'll have first period highlights and then our second period of hockey coming up here on CCX. Mom was always very self-sufficient, but we started noticing things were off. I was forgetting my responsibilities at work. I told mom we should visit a doctor. Alzheimer's, it was hard to hear that. Early detection gave us time to seek information and support as a family. I've never felt more connected with mom. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. And welcome back here to New Hope Ice Arena, the home of Armstrong Cooper Hockey here. Boys 
leading Elk River by a score of two to nothing after one period here this evening. And as we check out some of the highlights from that opening period, and overall there wasn't really a ton of offensive pressure or anything it didn't feel like, but the Wings were able to convert when they got chances. And as we'll see here, here's a nice check that frees this one up. A little flip out front and popped in by Charlie Gergen there as Roush set him up. And uh, Makozak had to hit. And then that one denied. Elks really didn't get a lot of offense. That was a pretty decent chance by Preston Holmes on the rush. And a turnover costing Elk River again there. And Essen sliding it across. And Jaeger puts it away. And my suspicion was confirmed. Obviously, Essen should have gotten an assist there. They didn't announce him as one. And then Essen nearly had one there. But that time, Stockman able to slam the door. And so we stay at two nothing in favor of the wings. Actually a slight edge in shots for Elk River, although the chances I think definitely a little bit better for the wings and each team took two penalties for four minutes. They kind of all overlapped. So those power plays, uh, really none of them were full length power plays for either team. We will come back here to New Hope Arena and also want to let you know we'll be here Thursday night for girls hockey, the Armstrong Cooper Holiday Classic. We'll have two games for you from the quarterfinal round from that one on Thursday night back here at New Hope Arena. Stay tuned, more boys hockey up next year on CCX. CCX Media, your source for great local programming is now available on Roku and Apple TV. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including daily newscasts and full sporting events. To find the app, go to the store and search CCX and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. Now available on Roku and Apple TV. Teams back out on the ice here for period number two as Northwest Suburban Boys Hockey on CCX Sports. Armstrong Cooper leading Elk River two to nothing after one. Well, and the wings showing off their, their goal scoring prowess. Uh, they've really done a nice job setting up plays and taking advantage of the opportunities and closing the door real quick when they have the opportunities. Elk River's got to get something going, man. They got to get their legs moving. They got to get some pucks on net. Rocking and rolling here. Yeah, and the, the interesting thing, too, is I think the Wings, for a good portion of the period, were kind of sloppy, too. Yeah. But it's just when they got chances, they capitalized. They were able to, I mean, two out of the three great chances they had went in. Uh, Stockman got one of them, but... When they got free, they were able to, to put it together and score. And it, it does look like they have a little more firepower than the Elks. But we'll see how things develop as uh, the game proceeds here. Reinhardt trying to get it ahead there, and they get it to center anyway. Knocked forward by Reinert. You're doing a good job keeping them straight, too. Yeah, I'm to trying to, anyway. <laughs> Here's Dane Yeager who had the second AC goal. Yeager firing, that one was blocked. Trying to put it out front there. And Burns took a hit, Max Burns. Physical play picked up a little bit as the period went on. We'll see if there's more of that. Some good solid checks. Reinhardt carrying it ahead, but met at the blue line there, and they'll have to regroup outside the line, and now the wing's looking to counter. Sam Burns carried it ahead. It goes in off the stick of Mason Schmidt here for the Elks. Davis picking it up, trying oh, yeah. to get it to Holmes. Two on one. Here's an opportunity walking oh, in and yeah. scoring the goal is Gavin Sperling for the Elks. He really got a shot. It just kind of slid, slid it through the goaltender Dimmich. So Sperling getting one early in the period here for the Elks. 
But you see two good passes here, and then you actually see a pretty good. Now watch this move. Brings it across, gets Goldie out of position, and makes the move. Second of the year for Sperling. Holmes will get an assist for sure, and probably Davis, but we'll see. So that quickly makes it a two to one game. Well, there's a little kick in the pants to get you going, start the period. Probably the first real odd man rush they've had all night, too, and they were able to finish it. Side in the line change. Man, you hate to see that happen. Jeepers. It will be Holmes and Davis getting the assist on Sperling's second of the year. So Ben Gustafson has to be happy with that. I kind of doubt he was too happy with the first period overall for them. And probably let him know that in the uh, locker room a little bit. Bounced out to center. Gergen up with it here for the wings. Uh oh, a little dangerous. So they brought it up the middle. But play goes on. Roush trying to slide that one over to Lewis McKozak. Cleared away from him. This will be an icing call against the Elks. And we'll head back into there under the rink. 14.55 to go here in the second as you look there at Danny Charleston. Well, adjustments, adjustments. Obviously, the Elks made a few in the locker room, and Coach Gustafson probably uh, lit a little fire in there to get him warmed up. Good start for the period for, for the Elks. Banked out to center. The chase is on. The golf icing there. Holmes trying to free that puck up, but good job to stick with it for the wings. Roush leading the rush here. Roush takes it back to the forehand and Stockman able to make the save. Stockman a left-handed goalie. You don't see that all that often, so it's a little bit of a different look when you come at him. Good pickup. Didn't even notice. You're right. Oh, and there's a giveaway. And Stockman able to cover up for it. Boy, that was a... And that hurt the Elks. Really, they're both the first two goals, I think, yeah. were, were giveaways. Yeah. Let's talk about turnover one with that check in the back. Or check in the back of the net. Wow. You know, as a coach, yeah, you just, this time period of this vacation time, really, you wondered what kind of a team you're going to get back. Banked around here to Mears. And he's met at center ice by Burns. Now they get it back. Here's Mears trying to put it out front. It slides through everyone. And a long shot thrown at the net by Hansberger. Now Gerber getting it set up. They tried to go in the slot there to Sperling. Kept in here by Hansberger. And then a takeaway, but they can't get it out though. Anderson jumped in to block that one. Turnaround try there was denied by Cole Matozak. And then one thrown on net. Dimmich will glove it and hang on here as the wings certainly have, uh, you know, come out a little bit flat footed here in the second. And it's, uh, right now, El Gerber seems to have the momentum. Well, Dimmich did a nice job there anticipating that shot coming from the point. He got out on top of that circle out there and just did a nice job cutting the angle off. But El Gerber's got some jump right now. Yeah, I think you could say they probably had a couple of their better shifts of the night here yeah. already early in the second. Thrown to the front there, but intercepted by Dayton Franke. Now Lewis McKozak up that left side, avoids the check. Oh, and his pass. I thought for a moment that was going to go off a defenseman's skate yeah. by Stockman. Then a flutter puck thrown on net by Riley Hansen as both teams going a little deeper into the lineup on that ship. We're seeing third liners and third set of D out there playing a little bit. The well, Wings actually had a better part of that. I'll tell you, that was a nice setup. Just couldn't quite go, go get that last pass to connect. Roush and St. Clair facing off here. 
Roush trying to dig that puck out. Now does. Here's a wraparound oh. try there. Stockman the save on Lewis Makozak. Now Makozak coming up with it. Backhand try here. That one deflecting to the corner. Knocked away from Roush. And play will go on there as it's carried by Brady Rush. His backhander going wide to the corner. Roush up with it here for the wings. Comes right back to him. Now Roush firing but missed the net. Dig for it along the wall there. And Durgan feeling a check slash cross check, but the <laughs> said play on there, and that'll be an icing call against the Elks. We will come back into the Elk River zone here. 12 19 to go in the second. Elk Gerber, the only goal of this period. They trail two to one. The Elks really needed that. All of a sudden, they got some jump. The Wings now got to fight back. It was a good forecheck they just laid down in, inside the Elk zone there. Turnaround oh. try here, and there is Stockman coming up with the save on the attempt by Dawson Franke. That was a beautiful play off that faceoff win, Jay. Got back two passes, bing bang, and they created a nice shot. Elks able to win the draw. They go around for Holmes, but picked off instead by the wings as it bounces into the circle. Hayden Jasper got the better of that collision. Wings able to pick it off, float it into the slot, but then backhanded out of there by Reinert. Reiner trying to win this puck back. Did some good work back there, and now he throws the check to try and free it up again. To the point, but not out, as it floated back into the corner. And the Elks able to keep it in. Holmes looking to work that puck free. Reinhardt throwing a check. Ooh. Intercepted by Hansberger. He'll go to the point and he gets it back, but it was in his skates. And tipped ahead. Now the race on back the other way. Chance for a odd man rush here and that one bounces away. Now recovered by Aiden Cook throwing it out to the front. Carter Davis leading the rush back the other way for Elk River. Davis now comes back to get it, putting it out Ooh. front. Nice interception there, though, by Cole McCozak. Now a chance the other way. Burns waiting for Essen. And his shot sails high. Burns firing there. Boy, there we go again. I'm going to get on my pulpit, Jay. He had a guy charging on the net in the far wing, and he shoots it over the net. Hit the goalie in the pads and let your guy get a rebound. Comes loose. Oh, Ooh. and that is a snipe that just missed from Cole Mears. Mears playing it down deep. He gets a return, but chopped out of there. Well read by Essen. He'll relay it around and to the point, but that shot is blocked. Wings trying to counter in a hurry oh. here, but nice read by Cooper Anderson, and then his attempt to dump it in was knocked down. Burns is trying to come up with it. And now they get it out to Mears. He takes a check as he gets it back in. Where the wing's really looking to capitalize if they can get a turnover. And like this, here comes Essen. Missed high on the short side. And now here's Cooper Anderson trying to a little saucer Ooh. pass there, but nice interception. A loose stick there nearly played that one. And now Cooper Anderson carrying oh. it in, and a man all alone in front, but there's Dimmich able to deny the opportunity for the Elks Reagan Paddock. Oh, and then Stockman hit his teammate with that pass, and it almost went in. Oh, boy. We've had some wild action back and forth. Not necessarily well played, but exciting anyway. And Coach Gustafson is going to be losing more hair here at the rate this goes. My gosh. 
Cooper Anderson dropping it back and Paddock oh. had another point blank opportunity and Dimmich able to make the stop. Paddock found himself alone in front twice there but unable to score it. Well, Dimmich is quick. He's really got now he gets out quickly. He shuts his pads down that last shot. It was five hole all the way and it was open. He just shut it down. Boy, they gave away virtually no grade A chances in the first period, but None. that's changed in the second. Yeah. Off the draw, Elks able to get the win. About now they'll come to the point. Try to look out front, intercepted, oh. then taken right back by Holmes. But he missed the net up high. Both teams creating some rather egregious turnovers here. <laughs> Back we come the other way. Roush in the circle fires. Stockman may have gotten a piece of that one. A little more end to end stuff here in the second for sure. Lewis McKozak forced back. He'll get on his horse and get going again. Goes right to the net and then a follow up is in. Gergen will get his second of the night. As Lewis McKozak took it go. hard to the net. Well, and he just did a beautiful job of filtering around the D, too. I thought he was going to go to the outside, and he cut right back on the inside, split the D, got him, shot in on it, and Gargan just put it away. Nice play. Look at this. Just goes right through the D. Beautiful play. And then Stockman actually made the first save, but Gergen has just camped right there to, to uh, bump that rebound in. Yeah, and I think if Stockman had it to do over again, he would have you know, gotten more yeah. on it in terms of trying to clear that with his stick into the corner. He, he made a save, but he didn't shove it aside as much as he could up there. Oh, back to a two-goal difference here. Oh, here we come back the other way. An opportunity and a shot sails high there by Cole Mears. And Stockman closing the door there on the short side opportunity. As Jaeger made a bid for his second of the night. So we went end to end right after the AC goal. We got a breakaway <laughs> chance, but... The film session in the uh, Elk River locker room is going to be a little tough this in the next day. Boy, the opportunities they've had. Off the draw, wings ringing around. Thrown behind the net by Cole McCozak. Looks looking to break it out, pass a little behind Easton Johnson, but they're able to get it in. Dimmitt stops it, but an elk was first to it there as Austin St. Clair. Now they're unable to get it out. A lot of traffic to try and weave through, though, for Davis. He's been holding the puck a little too long. Yeah. And that one pushed in deep. Burns keeping it in for the moment anyway. And hammered back down low by Aiden Cook. Ooh, heavy check thrown there. Part of it missed, but part of it got there. Sam Burns picking it up now for Armstrong Cooper. He was pressured a little bit and almost gave it away. Now the Elks trying to generate another opportunity out of this, but Burns re-intercepts. Got it over to Dawson Franke, and then we'll check through in there as McKozak tried to put the brakes on. That one dumped in a long one there by Sam Heikinen, 55, getting a, well, that was maybe his second shift of the night. Aiden Jasper, they put it out front. Ooh, and Dimmitt has to make a stop. There's Paddock again getting an opportunity. And then uh, we go at it a little bit. Let's see if Burns will be the yeah, only one that goes. Him, yeah. Sam Burns is going to go. And it does not look like the other bench is opening here, or is it? Yeah, it might be just Burns. Yep. Well, what the heck? Why play defense and we can play offense all night? Oh, my gosh. He came out and he's just been up and down, up and down. Good opportunity. Dimmich got across real nice that time. 
And I think Burns would have gotten away with this if it had happened a little bit sooner. But you watch, he kind of got a little shot, and yeah. you walk over, things are done, and then that, which, you know, wasn't all that much, but it came so far after the whistle that I, and exactly. it was so obvious out in front of everyone that they had to call it. Yep. You like protecting your goalie, but you got to do it a little bit less conspicuously, I think. Centering pass here. Holmes trying to backhander. That one didn't make it to the net. Now Davis. He'll slide it across. Cooper Anderson dropping it down low, and then that one comes all the way through. Davis right there waiting for it, though. Back out top. Cooper Anderson at a tip. It's still loose in front, and the wing's able to jam it to the corner. Back to Carter Davis and around Anderson. Davis trying to go into the circle. That one didn't quite connect. They still keep possession, though. Cooper Anderson. Uh-oh, we lost it. Bounce the round to Holmes. Holmes will fire. That hit a wing in front. Drop back. Davis is swinging a miss. Now Holmes picking it back up. He fires. That one over the net. They're... Keeping pressure on, but not really getting chances out of it. There's Dimmich, a save. And then that one thrown up front off a skate, and it'll come back into the Elk River zone as Davis has Essen bearing down on him. Davis was a little too nonchalant, and Essen takes it away. And his centering pass broken up. This Elk River, they need a change here. Trying to finish that up now. Holmes going to the net, trying to roof one there. And he paid the price, Ooh. and the wing's able to get it out. Well, the Wings are throwing it around a little bit bodily-wise. And they're getting a little more physical here. Kellen Anderson carrying it hard up the right side. Centering pass block. Penalty about to expire. And the Wings are now at full strength. So they're able to kill it off. Uh, kind of an interesting one. Elk River in a lot of ways had a nice setup going. But it didn't really result in good chances, though. Oh, we had a big collision away from the play there. I kind of get the feeling this one might erupt a little bit in terms of uh, physical play. They're starting to get after each other a little bit more. <laughs> and that'll be icing against the Elks here. 3.43 to go in the second. 3-1, to one, Armstrong Cooper with the lead. Yeah, the Elks had three pretty tired players out there that had run basically two shifts in one, so... You see the frustration there on Coach Gustafson's face. That's a great opportunity to put the puck in the net. Just hasn't gone. Off the draw. Ooh, Jaeger got away a pretty good opportunity there. Off of Bouton stick, intercepted. Ooh, and Jaeger got drilled there by Cooper Anderson. Might have been a bit of a high hit there. And now a chance. Gergen looking for the hat trick. And Stockman able to stop him. And most of AC's chances have come off plays yep. similar to that. Yep. Where they force a turnover down low and then find somebody cutting hard to the net. Basically, Charlie Gergen. <laughs> That's, you know, it's been about three times he's been just in that right position. And a little either ice issue or debris there that one of the officials picking up. Wings win the draw. Cole McCozak shot to flex toward the corner. Roush does a nice job getting back up after he's checked and dug it out. Then he got it, took another hit from his counterpart 17, Matt Reinert. Can't get it out, though. Puck laying loose in the circle. And now it's picked up by Cole McCozak. Gergen. And carried on in Lewis McCozak. Got some good speed. Avoids the check. And now it squirts free. He's got some nice hands, too. Jeepers. He's really been able to move the puck around with stick. Elk's able to come up with it, but then Kurgan blocked that breakout pass. Now two on two as they hit the zone. Paddock dropping it off. 
Trying to get it back to him. He went for the point, but it was a little behind Sperling, who will regroup with it. Finding Mason Schmidt. Cole McKozak blocked that one at neutral. See both teams, you know, occasionally sneak that third line when the other team's got their third line. They don't want to get caught with a one versus three matchup. Thrown in, knocked aside there by Stockman. And, ooh, centering pass there by Aiden Cook, but instead the Elks come back the other way with it. Hansberger into the corner. Hansberger gets it back, slides it across, shot and a oh. goal. All alone there was Cole Mears, and that one looked a lot like some of the Wings goals as Hansberger spotted Mears and just had to be on target with that short shot, and he puts it away. Sixth goal of the season for Cole Mears. Leading goal scorer for the Elks. Nice play, though. Nice setup. Could have been sitting in a chair in front of that was so all alone. And Hamsberger, you know, sometimes you get an assist and they're, they're not all created equal. He's pointing at him and, yeah, that one was really Hamsberger who made that play. Yeah. There's a shot attempt denied, so the Elks to within a goal now at 3-2 to two as we're late in the second period. Tapped out. Chance for a possible two-on-one here. They slide it across. Oh, there's Mears again. Swing and a miss. A follow-up opportunity, though. Dimmitz the save. Yeah. The rebound is in. And the Elks will tie it up as Sperling will pump in his second of the night. Wow, they didn't take long to keep the pressure on and capitalize there as Sperling pumps home a rebound after Dimmitz had made a save. It's amazing scoring a goal all of a sudden with this light of fire going and all of a sudden you follow up on it and that was a really nice play. Just get it out front and let's let's scramble. Let's see who can get the puck in the net. Yeah, Mears looked like a missed opportunity there, but then Sperling who had made the original pass to Mears, he circled around back out front. Dimmich had a save, but then he was down and a lot of net to shoot at for Sperling and puts it away. Three to three hockey game. Now the wings trying to answer. Chop back out. They'll have to regroup at center. Dayton Franke up with it. He'll throw it in. Wings were still in the zone. They need to tag up here. Well, they announced it as Mears, but it was pretty clearly Sperling. Yeah. Now they got it corrected. Hansberger gets an assist. Puck loose in the circle. Turnaround try there by Holmes. They're not satisfied with tying it up here. Looking for more. And Dimitri able to cover that one up. 17.9 to go here in the period. This one's taking a turn at the end of the period. Gosh, yes, it wasn't it very long ago. You're thinking the Wings are going to take a <laughs> somewhat comfortable two-goal lead into the third, but uh, not so fast. Well, once they got that first goal, the Elks all of a sudden started picking up the pace, picking up the pace, then they got the second, and they came right back and got the third. So they're playing momentum right now. Oh, a nice setup there, but Ooh. the tip deflected high by Hansberger. Boy, it was good vision to spot him, but just couldn't quite get the stick turned in the right fashion to deflect that one into the upper corner like he wanted to. So the Wings, I think, actually glad that this period will be coming to an end as they need to regroup a little bit. And I think for both teams right now, Dan, they're both saying, why can't we play that way the whole night? You know, there have been stretches where they've done it. And yeah. other times where they've been looking a little bit sloppy. So momentum with Elk River, but the game is tied up. After two periods here tonight, it is Elk River 3, Armstrong Cooper 3. We'll have second period highlights and then our third period of hockey here for you on CCX.
welcome back to New Hope as a tie hockey game through two periods. Elk River getting two goals in the last two minutes to even it up after they trailed three to one. As play really opened up a lot in the second period compared to the first. A lot of lot of chances and end-to-end -end activity as we see highlights from that uh, second period. And there's the first goal going in for Sperling. Just a minute 11 in for the Elks, so they cut it to two to one. And then a uh, nice stop there by Stockman. Turnaround try here, and Stockman having to make another save there for the Elks. Paddock had a couple of great chances, but Dimmich was ready for the wings. And here's another one. Paddock is all alone as he walked in, and Dimmich able to deny him right there. Nice move to the net here, and then the follow-up. Gergen pumps it in for his second after Makozak took it strong to the net. He did a three-to-one game, and the wings seemed to have the momentum then, but then uh, the Elks got it going in a little bit of a penalty taken there. It did not actually result in a power play goal, but it seemed to maybe turn the momentum a little bit. There's a big hit thrown, a high hit by Cooper Anderson. I to be honest, was a little surprised that wasn't a penalty call there. And there's Gergen getting a great chance at Stockman save. And late in the period, the Elks able to pounce. Nice pass across and pumped home there by Mears from Hansberger. And then Mears misses a chance here, but they stay with it. Dimmich a save and the rebound. Sperling was camped out front and pumped it in. Those goals came only 27 seconds apart. And that leaves us tied up at three after two periods here. And uh, as I was saying to Dan, and late in the second, prior to those two Elk River goals, you're thinking, oh, the Wings, this looks like their game. They're, they had the three to one lead and seemed to, you know, somewhat be in charge, but can't really say that anymore as Elk River really came on strong. You see the penalties, this one penalty in that second period, uh, that one taken by Burns. So neither team has scored a power play goal. It's going to be an interesting third period here. Three to three is our score. The third is up next here at New Hope Arena on CCX. Honey, what I think you need is a socket wrench. I played JV basketball. I'm sorry, I don't think it looks right. This is good and it's all is good, it, baby. Is it really all good? If you love me enough to routinely test your handyman skills, not to mention the strength of your marriage, then of course you'll visit nhtsa.gov slash the right seat to make sure I'm in the right car seat. I'm going to call my dad. One period to go here at New Hope as we're all knotted up at 3-3. The Elk River Elks, Armstrong Cooper wings. Boy, and, and based on the earlier parts of the game, Dan, it's a little hard to predict what's going to happen here in the third, it feels like, doesn't it? I mean, for a while there, you're thinking, boy, Elk River's kind of down yeah. and out, and all of a sudden, bang, here they go, two quick goals. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's been a back-and-forth game. You know, third period ought to be a real set of gangbusters right now, too, to see what happens here. Both teams got their legs back, that's for sure, after that second period. So, we'll see if they're, well, 3-2 tie. Yeah, the, the pace of the game seemed a lot higher in the second oh. period. Now, there were also a fair amount of mistakes, but at least there was a, you know, more intensity and more speed. Yeah. So here we go. Boxes are empty to begin the third. And we are underway in period number three as the Elks come up with it. Holmes deflects it in and he gives chase himself. Back out to the point, and that shot is blocked. Wings couldn't quite get it out initially anyway, then banked ahead though. Jaeger trying to slide it to the trailer Essen, but that one picked off. Now Davis up with it. His shot denied. Paddock follow, following up to the corner as he's knocked down. That's gonna be a penalty oh, against yeah. the Wings. Cole McKozak is going to go here for a cross check. His second penalty of the night. He's lucky that wasn't from behind because he hit him straight in the back and just dropped him. Just what? 38 seconds into the third. 
Well, the Elks are going to get their first opportunity here. Another look at that shot to the lower back in the corner. You're right, that was a dangerous one. Yeah. Cross it comes, and that shot into traffic off the stick of Reinhardt, and it deflects out of play. Elks defensemen, I feel like, have been a little bit slow in getting rid of the puck. Yeah. They're, they're, they're really trying to pick out a target, and it's more important just to get that thing through and quick. Let your forwards up front do something with it. Just take the shot and let them deflect it or get a rebound. Holmes picking it up. Trying to slide it over to Davis in the circle. Now Davis picks it up. Anderson will slide it across here. Reinhardt right back the other way. Davis over skating it. Puck seemed like it was getting stuck on wet ice a little bit there. And eventually the wing's able to clear it. Stockman leaving it for Cooper Anderson. Here's Davis dropping that pass back to Holmes and Dimmich fights it off. Rebound loose. He makes another save. And then another as it goes alongside the net. Holmes trying to tuck that one away. Dimmich was ready there. And you, know, you often hope your best penalty killer is the guy between the pipes. And Dimmich was good there. And lastly, he decided to stop the puck from coming out from behind the net. He kind of turned backwards. Did a nice job there. Cooper Anderson carrying it up that left side, putting it out front. They jabbed at it but missed. Now Davis will slide it across. Reinhardt right back the other way off of Anderson's stick. Holmes retrieving it here in the corner. Firing a shot and Dimmich making the save as he had a screen out front with Boughton. So 39 seconds to go in the man advantage here for Elk River. With, with all the goals we've had, we've not had a power play goal of the yet. Well, both teams really, uh, power play needs work. 17% for the Wings and only 15% for the Elks. Boy, they, they want to be up around 25. To the point, they quickly pounce on that one and get it out. There was a smart play. Boy, that was pretty. Brought it back to the point and kill some more time. Now the Elks able to retrieve it. Under 20 to go in the power play. Take away again. And the wings around the Hornet came for Dawson Franke, but they now get taken away as they try to go out front for Mears and then Dimmich making a save on Sperling. That pass actually didn't end up with who it was intended yep. for, and that actually made it a little tougher for Dimmich, I think. It, you know, you're kind of mentally thinking it's going to be right the first guy in the slot. Three seconds remaining in the power play for Elk River. Looks like the Wings likely will kill this one off. The wings have been really good in front of the attack match, and they really set up well, moved the puck well. Elk River's trying to, they're just not connecting. Ooh, Dimmich yeah. making a save, and then the rebound was loose. Penalty time is over, so Cole McCozak out of the box. Elk River getting a decent chance, though, after winning that draw. And they'll have another offensive zone faceoff here. Wings get the win on that draw, and Lewis McCozak. Now here they come up ice. Shot sailing high and then a big bounce goes into the back of the net. And the physical play there as the wings trying to throw the body around and free that puck up. Ooh, Cooper Anderson didn't realize Roush was there and turned right into him. And they were fortunate not to give up a great chance there. Wings come out a little bit more physical this period, Jay. They're kind of throwing it around a little bit. Oh, dangerous one right up the middle there. Roush coming in to pick it up. Roush got it down deep. And the Elks able to get it on out anyway. Riley Hansen getting that pass to Gergen, chopped loose by Matt Reinert. Kozak looking for the return pass. Pretty good read to step in and break that up. 
Now Davis coming up with it for the Elks. Throwing one at the net, but missed wide. Played back down to the corner. Paddock trying to turn and go to the front. And they'll get it back in the Elk River zone. Wings trying to finish a change here. Blake Reinhardt speeding up ice here for the Elks. Reinhardt to the circle, firing Dimmich. Closes the pads and he'll hang on for faceoff here. I'll tell you, Davis has been real uh, active for the Elk River defense. He's really starting to make more rushes and get involved in the play. He brings some pressure. Yeah, seems to be back on the blue line after they started him at wing earlier tonight. Mm -hmm. Pinches in to keep that one alive. Now thrown back out. Reinhardt back to it first. And they can't get it out. Dumped down to the corner by Jack Jangula there. And now the Elks leading the rush the other way. Here comes Cole Mears. Mears firing too high. And thrown to the front. It's loose and Mears is all alone and he tucks it in for his second of the night. Third straight for the Elks and they are in front four to three. Just loose defense in front. Mears standing by himself again. We've been watching this quite a bit. Most of the, all the Elk River goals and the score by somebody right in front. See a nice shot here and then it bounces and it just goes right through him where he's standing there. There's no white jersey around him except the goalie. Wrong white jersey, Jay. Wrong white jersey. You know, and give Mears a little bit of credit for also not getting himself in the crease too early there. Yeah. There was a possibility of that happening if he had taken another couple steps forward, but. Sperling and Hansberger, that's been a good unit for them. They've done much of their work. So Mears getting his second of the night, seventh of the year, 4-3 Elk River. I have a feeling this one is far from over, though, based on what we saw, especially in that second period. There were chances both ways. Well, we've seen that, you know, Armstrong Cooper can mount an attack. They can really take a situation and, and finish it and close the door on the, on the shots and put it in the net. And Gustafson probably thinking, all right, this is a little more like it, but he's still got a long way to go. Sam Burns, ooh, Cooper player. Paddock fell hard into the boards. Looks like he's all right, though, as he pops right back up. Cole McCozak trying to go back. That one takes a bad bounce for the wings. Holmes trying to get it to the point. Cooper Anderson. Ooh, and that Ooh. one deflecting just wide. Paddock up with it. For Holmes in the circle, and that one off the outside of the net as he was being pressured. Cooper Anderson firing, sails high and wide. Center pass, and that one hops over Anderson's stick as it was deflected. Dump back into the wing zone. And Kruber changing up. Here comes Holmes. Trying a little toe drag there. Oh. And then the follow-up was just trickles wide. Bad of the head, boy. You can't say Hansberger isn't working hard there. He got knocked <laughs> down and then batted it in with his glove and got right up and chased it. Centering pass here and just knocked away before the wings uh, Essen could get a chance, but it's going to be a penalty coming up here. And a high stick coming. And let's see, is it going to be Essen or is it? Essen's the one doing the arguing, although I'm not sure if that's, yeah, it looks like it is Essen that'll go for a high stick. I think it was a little bit of a retaliation thing maybe, and he's pleading his case right now. Save your breath, kid. They ain't gonna change the thing. <laughs> Danny Charleston over there pleading their case too. Watch Essen gets hit right. Oh, his stick came up 
Yeah, that was a, actually a good call. His stick yeah. came up into the face of Davis. He was bracing to be hit, but he had a, the blade of his stick yep. right into the neck or side of the face of Davis. And I'll tell you what, that's a lot better call in seeing it again than I maybe thought at first. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed, even when you're protecting yourself from a hit, you're not allowed to have your stick up that high into his face. Mm, the rules are you must control your stick at all times, yeah. I mean, and over the years, we've seen him call it, Jay. I mean, it, that stick gets a little out of line, no matter how intentional and unintentional, they call it. And a shot oh. and a goal by Carter Davis as he scores the first power play goal of the night. And a screen out front and pumps it home. Boy, he's been right on the edge of the way he's fired some pucks and gotten involved. And a nice shot, boy. Just that's clean whistle home. He is fourth of the season. Let's go D to D and snipes it home. Holmes Ooh. was cutting across to take the vision of Dimmich. Oh, it looks like it might have deflected off a defenseman stick it also. Either way, nice goal. Whenever you shoot the puck on the net, that's what happens. Wings trying to answer. McKozak shot goes wide. Rouse up with it. Here's McKozak walking in. Blocked. Follow up try, and then it's in. Gergen for the hat trick. Stockman made one good save, but Gergen was there for the rebound and able to pop it in for his third of the night. That's what you call answering the call. Boy, they needed that one right, right after did. four straight yeah. by Oak River. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, we knew this is going to be an up and down game, and in. Nice save right there, but just not enough. Another one, and then the rebound. The defense should have come on out and gotten Gorgon after that first shot. Just kind of physically get him out of there. But such as one goal differential now. And Roush coming up the right side nearly got another quality chance. Gergen has it, putting it out front, and McKozak had it knocked away. Kozak will get the assist. So Elk River scored only six seconds after that penalty was taken by Essen. But then AC answers only 29 seconds after Davis's goal for Elk River. So 5-4 game. And uh, as I said, uh, after one of those previous ones, I don't think we're done yet with scoring necessarily the way this game has gone. And there's a takeaway. Essen firing. Oh, Stockman fought it off, and then the rebound was laying loose. And the Elks got to it, but here come the wings again. Ooh, Davis, that's going to be a penalty. But it was a check into Essen, and he didn't, uh, he didn't think it was, but again, won't win this argument. Let's see what the call will be here. And the interference. And a good job by one of Essen's teammates yeah. held him back from <laughs> going. And saying, hey, we got a power play here. I don't, no retaliation, just steer clear. Be quiet. Another look as uh, the pass was made, and then mm, to me, that's finishing a check. The puck was not very. I think they called interference. Yeah, interference. But what I'm saying is the pass had just been made. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we saw Essen got up and was barking a little bit, and that's when his teammate grabbed him and was like, God, we just don't need you to even it up here. Now, the last pen the last four penalties were on AC, so I don't think Elk River has much to complain about there, even though Davis, I think, thought that that was just 
a defenseman finishing a check, and I kind of tend to agree, but. Not getting a lot of argument out of the Elk River coaches, staff. Well, and it's like you tell you guys, if it's a penalty, if they say it is, you yep, know, it may exactly. be lovely. But here's a look at some of what we've got coming up. We mentioned we'll be right back here Thursday night uh, for Armstrong Cooper Holiday Classic Girls Tournament. The Osteo Park Center will play two rivers in the first game that night here on the North Rink. And then uh, the host wings will take on Bemidji. In the second, those are first round or quarter final round games in that tournament. And then uh, after the new year, we've got a pretty good girl, girls matchup in hockey with Maple Grove and Rogers. And then boys basketball as top ranked and defending champion Park Center will host St. Louis Park next Wednesday. I'm glad the is coming down. I'm going to finally get to see the Wood Jacks. So power play for the wings as they try and battle back and tie this one up. They had a three to one lead at one point then fell behind five to three but has got the last one and now trying to even it up. That pass gets away. Sperling fell down into the bank at ahead though and obviously they're shorthanded so no icing there as Mears tries to get down there and cause some havoc. Rausch carrying it back up ice. Uh oh. Gets away, Dimmich alert, gets out to it first. Now Gergen leaving it for Essen. Essen trying to turn the corner here and he'll throw it to the corner. Lewis McKozak there to pick it up. He took a shot and then they get physical there. Thrown at the net, Stockman a save. And then tipped on out. Sperling was dead tired or he might have given chase at that one. Cole McKozak carrying it in here for the wings. And then banked on out. Holmes turning on the Jets. Essen is there though. Oh boy, Holmes with the shot. He might have gotten away with one there. I thought he jabbed the foot of Essen out from under him. The ref is standing right there. It was five feet away, saw so the whole thing. Wasn't inclined to call one. Now, sometimes when a team's already shorthanded, yep. you give them the benefit of the doubt, but boy, when that leads directly to a scoring job, I don't know, maybe I didn't see it right, but <laughs> it sure looked like he, did, like he jabbed his foot out from under him there. Not going to get an argument for me. Kozak getting it ahead to Roush. Roush behind everyone with that pass and tip back out. Holmes trying to put the pressure on here and free that puck up for the Elks. Almost did so. Penalty time is now over. Davis right out of the box meeting Roush. And he heads to the bench. Roush, good strength to keep that puck. Then his centering pass intercepted. Banked ahead looking for Mears. Mears tracking it down. Has a trailer, but a great sliding play by Makosa. Or uh, make that uh, Riley Hansen. Now here's Mears a shot. Dimmage the save. Back the other way, it's off the skate there of Max Burns. Elk River smelling this blood in the water right now. They want to put this one away. But not going to do it that way as they nope. turn it over and the shot goes wide. Hansberger trying to relay it out and that one deflected. Wings coming hard here. That shot. Now the centering pass off the side of the net there from Aiden Cook, and then it'll be icing against the Elks as they all of a sudden found themselves in some trouble there. So the Wings um, battling back. They didn't get in one on the power play, but they sort of seized the momentum yeah. back, I think. That was a good play by Elk River. They needed a line change real quick and just wanted to slow it down because the Wings are playing at their pace. Off the draw, turnaround try was denied. Thrown back into the Elk River zone. Reinert knocked away, but he hammers it in. Holmes pushing into the corner. Paddock going in after it. You got to have your head on a swivel going into the <laughs> behind the net or into the corners in this game right now. Both teams looking to throw the body around. Here's Holmes up with it. His shot is denied. 
Wings unable to get it out though, and that one thrown on that Dimmich will make the stop and hang on as Reiner just put it on goal. Let's play that Dimmich there. Stopped it and then held it. They give him a line change. And with five minutes left now, it's going to be short shifts for the Wings here for Elk River. And here's where it, it's kind of a paradox. You want to play confident and still attack, but you also want to play careful safe hockey to a certain extent, too, when you're protecting that lead. Mm -hmm. Just make the good hockey play, I guess, at all times. Uh, keep keep fresh bodies out there. You make mistakes when you're fatigued. Ooh, that one went off the noggin of Max Burns on from his teammate there centering it, or trying to clear it, I should say. Gotti dropping it off now. Squirted away from Jaeger, but he picks it up. We get it into the offensive zone, Burns. But then knocked away. Can't get it out though. And then this one chipped out. And they say Brady Rush would have liked to have that one to do again and do what Bouton did there. At least make yep. sure you get it out. Here's Essen trying to carry that one in. It comes back to him. Flipping that pass over to him directed aside there by Stockman. Mirrors, oh, he had Sperling alone but couldn't quite get it to him. Sperling picking it up. Sperling and Mears each have a pair of goals tonight for the Elks. Gergen has three for the wins. Just under four to play now. Armstrong Cooper trailing by one. Well, you got to be careful here if you're the Elks. You know, make sure those passes get through. Make sure when you're dumping it gets through. Don't let a stick check take it away from you. Pass back to Mears, misfired on that one. And the Elks trying to hurry up and finish a change. Roush coming up with it here. Taken away and the Elks will quickly ring it around. They're kind of back on their heels more than they'd like here yep. though. Yep. They're trying to hold on rather than, you know, stay attacking. And a takeaway, here's a chance. Gergen trying to center it to McKozak. And a sliding block, though. Nice job defensively by Matt Reinert. Anderson carrying it up. Missed the net. Then the follow-up tries off the outside of the net. This one knocked off the stick of Cooper Anderson. So, and Weiss obviously there. We go under three minutes to play. Anderson didn't get a lot on that reverse pass there. Chip back out to center and then thrown back in. Wings had to quickly tag up. And misfire there on that long pass. Going to be icing here against the Elks. Not a good one either. Yeah, you don't want to be throwing a stretch pass around when you're up by one goal. About two and a half minutes left. That played right into the Wings' hands here, and now they got to face off inside the Elk River attack zone. And the Essen line out there. Actually, uh, you know, they got Dawson Franke out there on this line as well now. He comes up with it after the draw. Got hemmed in a little bit, pushed it down, trying to get S in the puck, but couldn't quite do it. Wings aggressive on the forecheck here, but the Elks able to get it out. Chopped loose from Mears, however. And then Jaeger almost had a takeaway there as he caught uh, Reinhardt from the blind side there. Didn't see him coming. Played down deep to Mears. Mears putting it out front off the goal stick of Dimmich. Mears will get it back here and to the point now to Davis. And that one is blocked. Davis back up with it, plays it back in. That was a smart second opportunity yep. there. You want to make the wings go 200 feet now. 200 feet every time. Cooper Anderson getting that pass across. Oh, oh, and a dangerous one, but it'll get over to Holmes, but still not a very good play. Try to go back to Holmes. Nice read defensively by Jangula, though. 
And now the Wings counterattack. Under a minute and a half to go, but Gergen had it knocked loose. Relayed right back around, but the only one there is Cooper Anderson for Elk River. He'll carry it into the zone, drops it off for Holmes, fires, and he scores! Well, Holmes has done a lot of good things for the Elks tonight, and it feels like he's rewarded for that ultimately late in the game with a good snapshot there. Used the defense as a screen when he went down, he got it through. Goalie saw it a lot later than he wanted to. Nice shot by Preston Holmes. Good job here by Anderson, too, to, to kind of draw the defense to him and then yep. giving to Holmes trailing and able to snipe that one in. Holmes will get his third goal of the year. So that'll make it a 6-4 lead for the Elks with a little over a minute to go. The job becomes much tougher now for the Wings. We'll keep an eye on Dimmich. He'll probably follow this up ice. Oh, but they gave it away. It's an offside, however, against the Elks. Faceoff will come at center. We'll see if Dimmich... Probably if they gain control and dump it in, he's going to head for the bench, you would think. And actually, the draw will be outside the blue line, not at center here. Cooper Anderson comes up with it. Deflected there wide of the mark. And that one knocked loose that. You don't want to take chances there for mirrors, but just put it back deep in the zone. Don't worry about getting it across. Just dump it back deep. Yeah, Dimmich has got to stay in the net. They just got him all bottled up. Now he's heading toward the bench. But Mears broke that one up. Cole McKozak, extra attacker on for the wings, but they're down to only 20 seconds to go. Put out front, ooh, and then that shot blocked. Elks throw it toward an empty net, but nowhere near, and it'll be wide, and it's icing, and we'll come back in. And it was interesting, I was standing with the uh, Elks coaches during the JV game when they had a couple of tries at an empty net that missed, and then eventually they got one to go. But they were, I, they were kind of joking about how many you know, how much skating we're going to do for guys trying to score from 180 feet yeah. there. And this one on that Stockman will make the save. Eight seconds to go, and looks like the Elks are going to get their fifth win of the season here and hand the Wings their third loss. Well, for a portion of this game, it didn't look like that was going to be the case. No. Centering pass here. Ooh, and one last chance. Stockman making a save as the final buzzer sounds. And a good rally for Elk River as they score five of the last six goals to pick up the victory here tonight for Coach Gustafson and crew as a uh, you know, it's not a, not a pretty start, I wouldn't say, in that first period, but they have to like the way they closed. Yes, absolutely. Did a nice job there and Held it tight, made some smart plays. It was a good game all the way around. Went back and forth real nice. So that'll do it for our telecast here tonight from New Hope. And uh, happy holidays and happy new year for both of these teams and all of our fans watching. And a reminder, we'll be back here for girls hockey Thursday night at the Armstrong Cooper Holiday Classic. Your final score tonight, Elk River 6, Armstrong Cooper 4. Good night from New Hope.